Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. A ton of requests have come in to do a Yandere Chan custom pony tutorial. I've never done a human looking custom before, so let's see how she comes out. To make Yandere Chan, I'm using Pinkie Pie. I'm starting off by removing her cutie mark and eyes with some acetone. Next, I have to remove Pinkie Pie's head since she is going to get new hair. And to do that, you just twist the head to the side and it should pop right out like this. Next, I'm going to remove the neck plug. I'm removing the neck plug by using my pliers and pulling it right out. Now, this method of removing the neck plug will not always work. It really just depends on how much glue was used on the particular pony that you have. So I'm just going to set that to the side. And now I'm going to remove Pinkie Pie's hair using some big scissors. And then I'm going to go in with some smaller scissors and cut that hair all the way down to the root. And this part is really important to making the hair removal process easy. Now I'm going to take my long nose pliers and stick them directly inside the head and pull out all the remaining hair and glue. And once you're done, your head is going to look like this. She's completely bald and ready to be customized. But first we need to prep the body. Now, you can see that this plug is not going to come out easy like the one that we just did on the head. So what I'm doing is I'm taking an X-Acto knife and I'm going to make lots of little tiny cuts all around the neck plug. And then I'm going to use my pliers to pull that neck plug out. And using the X-Acto knife is dangerous work you guys so make sure that you get your parents help because I don't want anybody cutting themselves. Once the neck plug is out, it's time to remove her tail. And this is super simple. You just put your pliers inside the body and pull out that entire bunch of hair. Just like that. And you can just toss this because you're not going to need it anymore. And now the head and the body are both prepped and ready for customization. I've mixed flesh tone and white acrylic paint to create a very fair skin color that matches Yandere Chan. And I'm just taking that on a wide brush and I'm going to completely cover her head and then paint her front two legs and the front of her body. And once that's dry, I'm going to go over it and give it a second coat of paint. And here's the head, it's completely dry, and it's time to start working on the face and the eyes. But before I work on that, I'm actually going to seal this paint in. And you can do that by using an acrylic paint sealer like this, or you can use clear nail polish. It is completely up to you, it's your preference, and you know, whatever you have already on hand. Once your sealant is dry, it's time to start working on the face. I'm going to begin by using some coral colored acrylic paint and I'm going to go in and dab it with a small sponge to create the pink in Yandiri Chan's cheeks because whenever she sees Senpai, she instantly gets flushed because she just has the biggest crush on him. Now I'm going in with some white acrylic paint, outlining the eye. I've taken a pencil and I've sketched out the shape of her actual eye and her eyelashes and I've drawn that in off camera because I did have to use a very very fine brush and that would have been very hard for me to do on camera. The good thing about using nail polish as a sealant is that you can actually scratch off any acrylic paint that's on top of it. So I just gently used a q-tip and I removed some of the white on the inner corner of Yandiri Chan's eye because I felt that it was too much white um, right there in the corner. So I'm going back in with my pencil and again I'm just freehanding the shape of her inner eye just like this. And it's easier for me to do it this way then trying to freehand it with the actual acrylic paint and then you know messing up or something like that and then using a very very fine 
paintbrush, I'm going back in with black acrylic paint and I'm going to fill in the part that I just drew in. When I started getting all these requests to do Yandiri Chan, I honestly had no idea who or what Yandiri Chan was, so I had to kind of investigate it a little bit. And so Yandiri Chan is a well is the main character from a video game called Yandiri Simulator, and it's basically a dating game with a girl who's in love with the guy named Senpai. It seems cute, but I've actually never played it, so I don't know, maybe I might just to see what it's all about. And so back to the eyes, I've painted in the black and the gray and using a needle, I'm going to try my best to make the shape of a heart as the little reflection in her eye. The cartoon drawing of Yandiri-chan that I'm looking at has a white little dot on her cheek so I'm putting that in with a nail dotting tool. Going in with my fine tipped paintbrush, I'm using some black acrylic paint to give her a cute little smile. And the face is almost done, we're just missing her eyebrows. And the eyebrows are going to be covered with hair, so if yours don't come out perfect, don't make too big of a deal out of it. And once those are in, you're going to want to seal your face up so that way none of that hard work gets chipped off. And back to her body, she has on black leggings so to recreate that look i'm using some black nail polish and i'm completely filling in the rest of the body she also has a white t-shirt on so i've put some striping tape down to where i want the sleeves to end and i'm going to go in with some white acrylic paint and give it two or three coats to make sure that it's completely opaque and give her her shirt and Yandiri Chan has on the typical sailor uniform that a lot of schoolgirls wear. And while the paint's still a little bit wet, I'm going to go in and remove the striping tape. And look at that amazing shirt that we just painted on. That looks really cool, actually. And be very careful here not to smudge it. But if you do smudge it, um, just go in with some more of that nude color and fill in any white that you might have accidentally painted on. I'm going in with a very thin brush and painting the double stripes that are, that are on Yandiri Chan's arms. So there's the first set of stripes and I'm going to go in with the second set of stripes and try to make these stripes the same width apart. And there they are. She's really coming together. This looks pretty neat. Now we need to work on the navy neck thing that she wears. I'm using some air dry clay and I have Rarity here as a model. I'm going to roll out a little bit of air dry clay just using a marker or if you have like a real rolling pin you can always use that too and just make it thin. I have a business card here which I thought was a pretty good size and I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and trace out the size of that business card the length and the width, just like that. And I'm gonna see if it fits Rarity. And it just, I can tell, yeah, the thing's huge. That's never gonna fit her. That's way too wide. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually cut it in half. So take that business card size piece of air dry clay and cut it in half. And let's see if that fits, if that's a better fit for Rarity. And, oh yeah, that's actually a really good size. Okay, so there you have it, that's a good size. Now I'm just gonna kind of measure how far down I want it to go and mark that off. So again, using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut the end of it off to make it the perfect length. And then I'm going to cut a V shape into the front of the little bib, just like this. And 
the V shape is where you're gonna put it around her neck. Watch, I'll show you right now. So let's see if this fits Rarity. And it doesn't, so it's not, the little V things aren't long enough to go around her neck. So I'm just gonna cut off a little more from the inside of the V and that fits perfect. How awesome. I'm going to kind of shape this onto Rarity and let it dry overnight. I'm gonna try and channel Rarity's dressmaking skills to make Yandiri Chan's skirt. I'm using ribbon that's one and one half inches thick and I've cut out a eight inch section. I have folded over one corner of the ribbon and put a small dot of hot glue just at the top. Now I'm gonna fold that little section onto itself and secure it with another dot of hot glue. And this is how we're gonna start the pleats, just like this. And then I'm going to pull that pleat inwards like that and again, securing it with another dot of hot glue. So I'm gonna fold it back and then fold it back out. And be careful not to burn yourself with the hot glue here, guys. And so there's the first pleat. That wasn't too hard. You're just gonna repeat this process all along the skirt until you're out of ribbon. And the skirt might be too wide for Yandiri Chan's body, but we'll try it on Rarity before we glue it on. It's coming out super cool. And so here's the finished product. And let's see, yeah, this is a really good fit lengthwise for Rarity, but it is too wide, so I'm going to cut off about half an inch there. Now it's time to give her some hair. Yandiri Chan has black hair, so I'm using Brilliant Black Hair from dollyhair.com. I have a small bundle of hair. I think this is 36 inches, and I'm going to cut it in half using some scissors. I've taken those half strands of hair and folded them in half again, but I'm not going to cut them, so please don't cut them again. Using a twist tie, I'm going to very securely twist all those hairs together, and I have a little, you know, it looks like a whip of hair, and I'm going to push that twist tie into the opening for the tail, grabbing my pliers and simply pulling that bundle of hair straight through the hole. And don't pull the hair all the way through because we need to secure it first. So remove the twist tie, grab a zip tie, and secure all that hair in place and make sure that that zip tie is on there super tight. Grab your scissors and snip off the excess and pull the tail through. And that tail is completely secure. It will not fall out. The hairs will not get loose. And the tail's really long and you can trim it to whatever length you would like. Now, I didn't do this, I've completely forgot, but at this step, you should seal the body with whatever sealant you've been using. I have a very thin piece of red ribbon that I'm going to glue at the back of her neck and the sides of her neck. And this red ribbon is going to be the little bow that ties in the front of Yandiri Chan's neck. And once that's glued in, I'm going to take the navy bib that we made out of air dry clay and I'm going to glue it over the neck covering the red part in the back so that way you only see the ribbon in the front. And I did break this bib when I was trying to get it off of Rarity, but that's okay because once I glue it on, you're probably not gonna be able to tell. I'm gonna secure everything in the front using a big dot of hot glue, and I'm going to let that completely cool down, and then I'm gonna paint it with blue. While it's cooling, 
I'm taking my fine paintbrush and drawing in the white line that is around her bib. And then I'm going to paint this little dot in navy blue. Yandiri's body's done. It's time to work on her hair. I have brilliant black here and I've wet this hair to make it a lot easier to work with. I'm going to be using my rehairing tool, which as you can see is basically a needle and in the front it has two prongs. You grab a small plug of hair just like this and you pick up that hair and it gets stuck right in between those two prongs. And this is pretty sharp. So you take that tool and you push it into one of the holes on the back of the head, just like this. And when you pull it out, the hair gets stuck into the plug. And just like that, the first plug of hair is in. And you can see it right there. So I'm just gonna repeat that process, but I'm not going to cover all of her head. I'm only gonna go up to about her ears. And then we're gonna have to work on her bangs. So let's get all this black hair in. And this is also gonna be the first pony that I ever do that does not have her hair free flowing because Yandiri Chan actually has her hair in a ponytail. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done. So the hair, the hair's all in. So you see I only went up right above the ears. And the hair is not anchored in. And you have to be very gentle here. I'm taking the same twist tie I used earlier and I'm going to twist tie her hair together to kind of create a fake ponytail. And I don't want to put the real ponytail in because I don't want to pull any of the hair out because I haven't glued it in. Now on to the bangs. I want the bangs to fall to the side. I don't want the bangs to go towards the back. I want them to fall straight to the side, just like Yandiri Chan. So what I'm doing is I've replaced my rehairing tip with a regular needle, and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to re-poke the holes in the head, and I'm re-poking them at an angle. So you can see they're going in at a slight angle because I want the hair to go in at an angle. I figured that if I do it this way, the hair will fall to the side and it won't go back or it won't go to the other side. And I've never done this before. This was really just an experiment and I gotta say, it came out pretty cool. Now Yandiri Chan has bangs on the other side, but this pony only has two rows of hair. So I'm using, again, the needle tip for my tool, and I'm just poking some new holes into the head. So now she has a third row of hair, and I'm going to put those bangs in. Once the bangs are in, I'm going to seal the hair in using some fabric glue. I'm gonna generously pour that inside the head, use a Q-tip to press that glue into every single piece of hair, and let it completely dry. And the last thing we got to do is put on her cute little skirt, which I have cut off about a quarter inch or half an inch from the back. And I'm just going to hot glue that skirt directly onto the body. And then I'm going to glue the head on with some E6000. Here she is, Yandiri Chan from Yandiri Simulator, as requested by all my wonderful subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If there's any other customs you would like to see done, please let me know down in the comments below, and I can see if I can get those done for you. Thank you so much for watching, little pandas. Until next time, bye! You can find me online. For the latest news and updates for the channel, you can follow me on Instagram, Manda Panda Toy Collector, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Manda Panda Toy Collector, or you can add me on Snapchat, Manda Panda TC.